basically I've moved to LA to become an influencer. Kidding, kidding, today is just going to be an experiment because I'm going to try to take photos alone. I just really want to get some Instagram photos and I don't really have anyone to take photos of me so I'm going to get out of my introvert shell and hopefully get some sort of photo. This could be a fail, but then this is going to be a funny video. Basically, I've been binge watching Ashley's videos from Best Dress like non-stop for like the past year. And she has a video where she goes out in LA and takes photos by herself. Um, I think she does that all the time and up until now. Now she has a boyfriend. Um, I don't. So all in all, I don't know how to pose. I don't know how my face needs to look. I don't have any confidence. This will probably fail, but it's going to go great. And Ashley, if you're watching this, please pray for me. So at first off, I thought it would be a good idea to kind of work out what to do with my face because I don't know what to do in photos. because it keeps it fun. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I'm gonna wing it. Maybe I'll just wear sunglasses. So I don't really know how to pose with my face and I really don't know how to pose with my body either. So maybe I'll just do a little bit of practice before I go out. no idea. This is my outfit by the way. I am wearing this dress from Ganda for the first shots and then I got these shoes with these yellow socks because I couldn't find my white socks so we're going with yellow. I guess I'll get inspired in the outside world. I think I am just procrastinating the fact that I have to go outside and film by myself. Also I haven't exactly vlogged outside before by myself too much so that will also be an experiment. Why did I think this was a good idea? Who knows? So this is the equipment I'm gonna take. I got my GoPro, well my brother's GoPro. Thanks Brad. And then I got this camera just cause I really have no idea how to use that camera by myself. And I'll be using this camera to take the photos. I mainly will just be using the app on my phone so I can take photos with the app, but Maybe I'll also try Ashley's technique where she just films stuff, but my camera's not 4K, so I feel like it's gonna be pretty shit quality, you know? So, good luck, Jen. Oh, thanks, Jen. Okay, so I just attempted to like, do some photos there but it really didn't work and someone came up to talk to me and yeah I was kind of, the camera was kind of too close for me to get in the shot properly so I'm gonna keep looking around okay so I just came home that was a bit of a fail also Biz has eaten my donut that I left on the freaking counter god damn it Biz yeah, it was a fail mainly because my dress is too flowy and it's really fucking windy outside. So anytime anyone went past me and just liked to just, you know, kind of flap up and show my ass. So I just kind of, uh, I just kind of quit for a second. Also, the weather is getting crazy. It's kind of grey outside and maybe I just try again another time. That was just attempt one. I'm going to give it a fail, but I think we can get there. I uh, now have pink hair, which is cool. Well, let's see if I can take photos today. Otherwise, this is just going to be a fail and prove that I really just need someone else to help me to take photos. So. I'm just going to test if it's possible to take photos using a line as a tripod. Is it possible? I don't know. I think it's easier to like just film things and then take photos from that, but I don't think my camera is good enough. So that was slightly nerve-wracking, but I think I timed it right that there's no people, but how cute is this building? Apart from the crane. I think this is too awkward for me. Okay, I'm leaving. Okay, bye. This whole 
solo uh, photo thing is not really working out, but uh, here's a stone rock thing that I could take a photo in front of, but there's too many people around, so I'm probably not going to do that. 12 seconds later. Okay, maybe I just faced my fears, fam, and I actually did something. It's really forcing me to figure out different angles because I don't have someone to hold it, and I just got this really small tripod, so hopefully it's working out. I just looked at the photos and I think I like them. There's some good ones there. So I think the key is to be in a street that isn't busy because then I don't climb up and just turn the camera off. So I think there's people running out, so I'm gonna turn the camera off now. So I'm back in Australia now. But uh, I finally edited this video and honestly, the beginning was terrible. I don't think I was really ready for this challenge that I set myself. I wasn't really good at being outside, I didn't even get a photo the first time I went out but I think the hardest part was just like starting but once I like overcome the awkwardness and just like established that I really wanted to get at least one photo out of this challenge I kind of pushed myself a bit more. So yeah basically my goal was if I at least got one photo that did okay I would be happy out of all this effort. And it turns out by the end, I did okay. I really went from zero to 100 pretty quick by the third day. Obviously, this is one of those things where it's like, you really just need to practice and you'll get better and better. So here are some of the photos that I took. Obviously, I took none on the first day. The second day of the experiment with the lime scooter actually kind of worked. But yeah, all the photos that I took from on the ground actually worked the best. I really liked the ones with rock, so winning there. Then on the third day, I went to this place near where we were staying that I had my eye on the whole time. I tried that one out. There was heaps of people gardening around at that time, so that's pretty proud of me for not tapping out while they were watching me. And these bad boys are my absolute fave. I actually took these around where I was staying, just on the balcony, and I think these are the ones that really made me win this challenge for myself because one of them actually got featured on one of my favorite Instagrams, Lucy and Yak, so... So I didn't completely fail, but uh, let me know which ones you like the best in the comments. So all in all, I did okay for a first attempt, and I mean, Ashley, thank you for uh, inspiring me to go out of my comfort zone and actually get some decent enough pictures, because if I hadn't have done that, I probably wouldn't have had anything to put on my Instagram. Honestly, with my two techniques of taking photos uh, with the app on my phone and then taking photos filming, I think the filming works the best for getting like some really cool poses because I could just pick whatever from the video, but I really like the quality of taking photos with the app, so it kind of both worked. Um, it just really depends on what quality I wanted. Nah. If I get any likes on this video, just like any at all, I'll make a video on like how to film a lookbook by myself because that's like the next step I think. Obviously I haven't done that before, filmed a lookbook by myself, but I'll set the challenge if you want me to step up and go out of my comfort zone yet again. Anyways, I have been Jen. If you haven't already, please subscribe and until next time, keep wondering. Oh and Ashley, I did it! I freaking did it! If anyone wants to share this to Ashley, um, that'd be really cool if she could see it and okay, cool, bye!